Well, hello there. I want to show you really quickly in this video how to get rid of this dreaded Google Maps error. You get that ugly for development purposes error over your Google Maps. And, you know, for some clients, like this example is a McDonald's franchise. They want to be able to have, uh, it's a big feature of their website to be able to have people find their different locations. And so for this not to work, it's a big deal. So it's an easy fix. I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, so you get this error, it says this page can't load Google Maps correctly. You want to click where it says, do you own this website? And essentially what this is all about is Google wants to use API keys and to finally start charging for Google Maps. And so you got to set up a billing account and an API key in order to continue to use the Google Maps JavaScript API. Um, you know, back in the good old days, it was free. You didn't have to go through all that, but that is the process now. And so I'm going to show you very quickly how to do that. So you'll click on, do you own this website? It's going to take you over to their documentation, which is pretty good. It, it really uh, explains how to get through uh, this whole process. So it says, are you using an API key? No, I'm not using an API key. Click get started. That's going to take us over to the cloud console for Google. I think I'm already logged in. There we go. So if you don't if you don't already have an account, you'll probably have to just log in. In my case, I have an account, so it takes me straight to the console, and then I'm going to have to basically select the uh, what's the word property or let's see. So here at the top, it says project. That's the word. So if you don't already have a project, you're probably going to be prompted to to create one. You'll just click new project right here. I already have that one created. Um, make sure that, that that new project is selected and then you'll go down to APIs. There's all kinds of APIs. We're looking specifically for the Maps JavaScript API. Once you click on that and enable it, it'll show up like this. I'm going to click on it. Now, once we get to this screen, you're going to want to go to credentials. And this is where you're going to set up your API key. And so you see there's the API key. I've already created mine, so I can just copy and paste that into my application, which is down. Let's pop up the oops, wrong button. It's if you open up your code, it's probably going to look something like uh, API key or key equals. So it's going to look something like this you'll have your, your script for Google Maps and it'll say key equals and that's where you're going to insert that API key. And once you do that, it should get rid of it and you'll, you'll get this message cleared up. You might also additionally need to go, as it says here, yes, I am using an API key. So if that message continues to display, then it means you need to set up billing on your account. Um, and it, if you just follow through this, it will continue to uh, show you basically how to do that. Basically, just have to set up a credit card account um, so they can charge you if you go over a certain limit of views uh, on, on your map. Uh, it's a pretty simple fix. Um, it, it can be a huge game changer for websites like this. So I hope this helps. I'm Ricky Jones from the Concierge Web Company. Have a blessed day.